Israeli troops have killed two Palestinian men during a raid in the occupied West Bank territories. The Palestinian authorities have said that the two young men were in fact shot by the Israeli forces during an assault on the village of Jaba, which is in south of Jenin, in the north of West Bank. The Palestinian militant group Islamic Jihad has claimed that the two men were actually its members. The militant group has condemned the killings. The group has said that the duo were in fact killed while trying to intervene against the occupying forces who are carrying out an assassination operation in the occupied Palestinian territories. An Israeli army spokesperson has said that the troops in fact opened fire on the car after being shot up and that there were no Israeli casualties or injuries. In a separate incident, a 19-year-old Palestinian boy died from wounds that he had sustained on the 2nd of January in Jenin. Now, the 19-year-old boy was injured when the Israeli troops had stormed a village to demolish the homes of two Palestinian gunmen who reportedly had killed an Israeli soldier during a firefight back in the month of September. Now, these two killings have also raised a number of has raised the number of Palestinians who were killed in the fighting with the Israelis to 12 this year. Jenin and outlying areas have seen intensified military sweeps by the Israelis after the violence that's been witnessed over the course of last year. The recent violence has further dimmed the prospects of the resumption of a U.S.-sponsored peace talks between Palestine and Israel that was stalled and that have been stalled since 2014. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.